One of the best ways to excite your audience and keep them engaged during your presentation is by gamifying your sessions and breaking up the slide monotony. Interactive quizzes that get them involved in the conversation encourages people to pay attention. No one likes getting the wrong answer. In this video, we'll walk you through how to set up interactive quizzes in Glisser so that you can impress your attendees. Let's get started. Step number one, add a presentation or edit an existing one. Then click the orange add content button and choose the quiz option. Step number two, type out the question you want to ask your audience. There are lots of creative options you can go with. For example, you can quiz them on something you just talked about in your presentation to test their understanding, or you can ask a general quiz question for a fun added touch. Step number three, Type out the answer options to the question and then click the correct answer circle next to the right response to turn it green. Every other answer that's not correct should have a red circle next to it, unless you turned on the option to allow for multiple correct answers. Step number four, edit the settings of your quiz. Turn on display images if you want to have photos as answers. This is a great option for training or education purposes. You can also choose to make answering mandatory and share the results to your audience's devices. Once you're happy with how everything looks, press add poll to add it to your session. From here, you can drag and drop your brand new quiz to where you want it to appear in the presentation. When you present your session and you reach a quiz slide, it's instantly sent to your audience's devices for them to answer. To reveal the correct answer, you just need to hit R on your keyboard. And you're done! You can personalize your quiz by updating the settings in the personalization section to match your branding, and then you can check out the results after the session's over in our analytics platform. It's all there, ready for you to use within Glisser.